The political odds are against you. The BJP seems to be, have an upper hand. If you look at last assembly election results in Upper Assam in Jorhat district itself, and uh, how do you think you are going to face these odds? Given the fact that you are a you are a leader to whom the party leadership and the workers are looking upon. I always welcome a challenge, Ratnadeep, and I have my ears to the ground. As I said, uh, the day the candidate list got declared, uh, not even. Uh, Congress supporters, but ordinary people have come out and have declared their support. There are many within the ranks of my rivals, political rivals, who have also declared uh, their support. So I, could, I can already sense the victory. The victory is here. Now it's only a matter of time. We, we will go through the campaign. We will go to the people. But it, we can, I can already say that we have won Jorhat. You have racked up the issue of the CAA, uh, in which we see the opposition political parties coming uh, together, although a sheet sharing between opposition pol political parties did not happen in the same. How much of a you know dampener is that that you didn't have a sheet sharing? And will CA really help? Given the fact that in the last election it didn't help the Congress and the opposition. You know, I think we are restricting the advantage of unified opposition to a very limited understanding of seat sharing. One of the advantages of having a unified opposition is that our messaging is same. That instead of attacking each other, we, are, we have a common uh, political rival and we are saying the same things. And therefore, our message is going out to a larger section of people. So, whether the seat sharing happens or not, of course, if it happens, it's better. But the fact that we are on the same platform, we are saying the same things, I think that will have a resonance with the people and that will create the resentment against the BJP into votes. One last question. Many would say that Jorhat constituency's fight would be a fight of image of Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma, although he's not contesting, but he is the star campaigner and your image, the image of the Gogoi family, your late father, he was Chief Minister here three times. How do you see this? As I said, this, this election in Jorhat is not about personalities. I am not bigger than the Congress symbol of the hand. Uh, Mr. Sharma might think that he is a big person, but I certainly don't think that I'm bigger than the Congress symbol. The Congress symbol is above all of us, even me, even my late father. And I think the people of Jorhat, this time, symbol aside, they have a absolutely an unprecedented uh, dis decision that they've already made up in their mind that they are going to vote out the BJP. So that's why it's not going to be about personalities. It's about going to be of the people. And the people of Jorhat, as in any democracy, should be at foremost of anything. So Thank Congress's you. Uh, political Thank fortunes will revive from Jorhat? Absolutely. Um, day after tomorrow, I'm going to Titabor. That's where I'm starting my Jorhat campaign. Titabor is where my father was an MLA and three times chief minister from. It falls within the Jorhat Lok Sabha. And, um, and the road to 2024 and the road to 2026, the state assembly election, starts from Titabor, where I'm going to day after tomorrow.